So in your mind, um, what lies at the core of, of the discipline? I, I, you, you, you came into practice at a time when um, there was a lot of um, uh, uh, thinking and writing going on about family medicine as a discipline, Gail Stevens and Ian McQuinney and so forth, and um, talking about comprehensive continuous care and trying to figure out in their minds or define in their minds what's unique to this discipline um, that makes it, marks it as different. Can, did you, do, can you talk to that at all? And well, I think that like initially I had no knowledge of uh, any of the formal writings or of any of the uh, the contributions, significant contributions made by people like that you've mentioned, like Gail Stevens and even Ian McWinney. But within a few years, I became very aware, particularly of Ian McWinney. And when I first read some of Ian McWinney's work and his textbook, it seemed to be that not only was I learning from reading it, but it was reinforcing what I thought family medicine should be and the reasons that I went into it. And to me, it was exciting that it actually could be put together in a way that was not only uh, the, the way that, that a family doctor should practice with his or her uh, patient population, but that actually defined a discipline. And that this, you know, I was very concerned about the fact that when I was in medical school, there was no, de there was no family medicine department or part of the curriculum. And family medicine and general practice, as it was really being referred to, uh, was really the choice for a career of a small proportion who somehow knew that's what they wanted to be. And I think most of those, I don't, I don't have the, the data for this, but I think most of those in my class who, were, who knew they wanted to be general practitioners came from small towns who actually knew their general practitioner and had that as a role model. Uh, but the majority who ended up in family practice who weren't in that category were people who didn't get accepted into a specialty that they had chosen. And to me, this was not appropriate. This was an incredibly important frontline part of the healthcare system that needed to have a definition of a, as a discipline so that right fr from the start as medical students, you're not thinking of it differently than you'd think of any other specialty. And it should be a specialty. You have to have special skills and knowledge and attitudes to be a family doctor, just as we would expect in any other specialty but this one's different yeah. and it needs to define it and here it was it was being defined by Ian McWinney and others and as I started to read more of that I started to and I was starting to mature myself in my career and personally I saw this as this had to be where the, the future direction of where family medicine and family practice was going to go. Right.